Hi, my name is Daniel Gregorsen, and in this video I'll show you how you can use the app member site plugin that I've created to really make your membership pages identical and easy to update. So what it works is it's working on Optimized Press 2, which is really good at creating a lot of good templates that you can incorporate. So let's just see here what we have here. Here we have, I've cr already created a template and a template in app member site is an optimized press template that contains two specific tags and that are able to be copied to multiple different sites or pages. So we have here the title and the only thing you need to do is to write title as I've done here. You have to write content if you want the content in and you can put a video image in a video thing in and then that will also be copied. Uh, and in this one I've also added the child pages so that's good and we have saved this and that's okay. So now we want to create a page based on this template. So we'll create a new page demo site and we'll go to the app member site section demo site we will select the content template that we had created for this and then we don't have to use videos in this one so we'll just uh, publish this one and what it will do is it will go through all the code that you've defined and then copy them to the specific page so let's go view the page so here we can see the page that we have created we can see that the title has been copied and the content has been copied oh, and we go to the edit on this page If we do any changes, add a new line on it and update it. We can see the revisions and if we refresh this page, we can see that this added a new line on this. So this is really a simple way of adding content and maintaining it a simple way using standard WordPress technology. And you can see the revision log, we got that just before, we can see the revisions and stuff like that. So let's add a child page to this one called module one. One, and we'll go to the app member site section of it. And here we will enter and we will again select the content template and put in a video URL for this. And we will publish this. Oh, forgot just to add it under the dashboard member site. So now we have added it, created a new page with a video that we have added under the dashboard. And let's just create a new one. Uh, we'll just create a new one here. You can either copy it or you can just create a new one. Uh, module two, go to the app member site section, fill in data. We will select the same content template and the URL for this. So, so far so good. And we'll again select the content here. We'll say like publish. And this will also render all of these pages. So whenever we then go back to our 
content here. We can see now we got two modules under it and we can select one of these and we can see here the content, we can play the video if we want to do that. So this is really a simple way to manage your optimized press pages. But what is really powerful of this is, so whenever you have to do, want to do changes in the, one of the content templates that you're using, if you want to add more features or change some other layout, because of, for one or other reason, you have this uh, content template area and uh, content management. Here you can go in to edit the template. We'll edit uh, the live editor. And let's just add a new element up here on the, the top. And let's just do an arrow. Sender, that's good. Maybe a little big, but okay. So now we have added this uh, template to it. We will save and close this. So now we want this arrow to be on all of our content templates. And we have to say, say yes and yes. But what we see uh, in, in this here we can see that these pages that we have created that they are not up to date so an update is required and we'll just select them and run the update and when that update is run you can see now they are up to date and if we go here and refresh the content we would expect to see this uh, arrow on this page because it's inheriting it from the template. So this is really a powerful way to show you how you can use templates and what it will do to your membership sites. Obviously, you'll probably create uh, three different uh, templates that you would apply to the different pages. So I hope this has been useful as something that you will find that you can use on your membership sites. So go to appmembersite.com and check it out. Thanks.